Thermocouples can now be divided into various types as per what metal con configuration we select. So it, the most common is the K type, but you have lot of types. For example, N, E, J, T, C, B, R, S. Oh my God. But let's try to divide them. So basically these three which you see on the left hand side are nothing but made of noble metals like platinum, rhodium in different proportion and configuration. These three metals are usually preferred only when the other regular type of metals are not applicable. So let us look at the thumb rules as to how can you select which type of thermocouple to be used when. The first thing is type K thermocouples. Type K are the most widely used thermocouples. So we'll look at when to use and when not to use these thermocouples as per APA RP551 page number 30. So first thing is before we start with K type, let us know what is K type made up of. So K type has the positive side and the negative to it. So the positive is made up of nickel and chromium and the negative is made up of nickel and aluminium to it. This can usually be used up till 1260 degrees Celsius. As a safety margin around you can say 1000 degree Celsius is what I personally recommend. Then is you cannot use this in H2 environment as per API RP standard. Why? Especially between 800 to 1000 degree Celsius range. Why? Because a thermocouple when it is put in the surface of hydrogen at such high temperatures, the hydrogen would break at such high temperatures and these H1 molecules will basically try to hit the sheath then the thermocouple and enter in inside the thermocouple and damage and give you false readings. Also in oxidizing environment, it is preferred not to use K-type thermocouples because of the green rot effect. Type E type thermocouples. Now if you see the EMF chart versus the temperature, you would notice that for type E thermocouples, the EMF generated is the highest, which is around 78 or 79 millivolt if you see. And for K type, it is just 42. So in cases where you require the highest EMF, that is usually in high noise requirements or where there is high vibration in the environment, E type is the most preferred type in those cases. Next is in cryogenic applications. When you see the cryogenic application, the temperatures go maybe up till minus 186 degrees Celsius or something, especially when it is liquid nitrogen or LPG, etc. For those cases, type T might be a preferred choice. This is my personal recommendation as per input from various site people in terms of its stability and design basis. Otherwise, you can use for very high temperatures if it goes up till 1200 degrees Celsius above. Maybe type B is a suitable choice. Again, you need to discuss to an expert about it. But ideally, you can use this as thumb rules while selecting it. Now, one of the most important part to know is about type J thermocouples. J thermocouples have the positive and the negative section with the positive having is iron and the negative having is constantin, which is copper and nickel. So remember that iron is not an easy metal. Iron is very prone to rusting. So ideally as per API RP recommendation, this should be a legacy choice. And only if there is absolutely no choice available, Otherwise, you have to keep this as a non-recommended choice for majority of the project applications. If you're interested to learn control valves in depth, then there is a free ebook available which covers amazing parameters like material selection, valve sizing, valve design and valve standards. The link is given in the description below. Please subscribe if you have liked the video.